Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Alex here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So as you probably can tell, Alex is in a definite fall time mode. Flannels out, red lips are out. I am just super duper ready for fall. I got this shirt from JCPenney, by the way, if you wanted to know where I got it from. Um, so today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about my September. Alex adores, I know I'm definitely a little bit late, but obviously Hurricane Matthew put me back a little bit. So do bear with me with that. And anybody who was affected by Hurricane Matthew, my prayers go out to you. I do ask for your continued support and prayers for my family and everyone in the Bahamas because they were severely affected like especially the island I grew up on Andres it was it is total devastation like I looked at some pictures of a lot of places that I you know knew as a, a child and they're basically gone so I just I just really ask for you guys to you know just send a prayers for those persons in the Bahamas and anywhere else that has been affected by Hurricane Matthew but on a lighter note let's go ahead and jump into my Alex Adores for the month of September so let's get started with my happy place makeup it's it's been a really interesting makeup season for the past month so the first thing I want to talk about is by L'Oreal and I'm really excited to talk about this product because it's so I don't want to say different, but it's so easy to use. I was kind of blown away. It's from their new feline collection. This is their voluminous liner Nior. And what I love about this liner the most is, I'm dropping it already. What I love about this liner the most is the shape of it. It's so like, the design is really ergonomic. Like it really fits in your hand. It fits like a, almost like a chopstick kind of, like a pen. Like it's just really easy to hold. And the packaging is super duper light. It is a felt tip. It's really, really pointy, really, really sharp, but it's really good, especially for those of you who are new to lining your eyes or who already have trouble, you know, like holding the liner. Like I really like how this is designed because it's really easy. It like it just lays in the hand really, really nicely. So you have way more control when using it on the eye. So I think this is a really nice beginner friendly type of eyeliner. It does distribute the product really well. Um, it's not as black as I would love it to be but it's black enough that it actually works so you can build up the color if you want to but I really like the design of this is really easy to use I found myself reaching for this a lot more than my other liners because I'm like I just I just grab it and once I pick it up it's just so lightweight and so easy to use so again this is the L'Oreal voluminous New York liner from their feline collection and in keeping with that collection, I have also fallen in love with their Voluminous Feline Mascara. Now this does come in waterproof and regular formula, and there are two colors. There's a green one and a black one in terms of packaging. I do not know why they did that because they're like the same thing. Like, I don't know, I guess they wanted people to have like a, how do you say, like an option in terms of what color they would like. I don't know, but there's no different in terms of color for the mascara, but the mascara is really nice. It does what it says, it lifts the lashes, it pulls them out and gives you that really nice cat eye effect, especially how the bristles are. Now the bristles are um, that plastic feeling, but they're not hard, if that makes sense. Um, they really cup and grab the lash, and I do really like this mascara. It didn't flake on me or anything like that, but it really did the job in terms of lengthening and pulling out the the, the lashes. Now I do have a second mascara that I really, really like. I am a mascara junkie, you guys, because I really like my lashes to be nice and full and look really pretty even before I put lashes on because there are times where I am like, okay, if my mascara is good enough, then I'm not about to wear lashes. It depends on what I'm doing. But this next mascara is from Clinique. It looks like this. It's really, really cute and innovative. This is, it's really long, so I have to look at it. It's their Lash Power Flutter to Fold Mascara, and it is awesome. What I like about this mascara is the fact that you don't need a makeup remover to get it off. Like you only need some warm water in your fingertips and it just really dissolves and flakes away when you're taking your, your makeup off. It's so awesome. But what's even more interesting about this mascara is the fact that you can dial up or dial down the intensity. So on the packaging, you can see some little mascaras on it. And when you turn the actual portion of the mascara tube where you want it, it distributes a certain amount of product, if that makes sense. Like when I first looked at it, I was like, is there like a million wands in here? How does this work? But I noticed that there are different intensities on the lashes on the mascara wand. So once you, on the tube, sorry. So once you turn that actual portion of the wand, not the wand, of the mascara tube, it distributes a certain amount of product. So if you want 
on the end like a really full lash and you turn the knob it actually distributes more product and then when you turn the knob towards the smaller portion of the mascara then what it does is it restricts the amount of product that comes out on the actual wand so that is one thing that I really liked about this mascara so it's basically like having three mascaras in one it's absolutely mind-blowing so I really really like this mascara Flim Clinique I think it's really innovative and it's it also helps save money because you won't be buying three different mascaras for three different effects. So it's one mascara with three different effects. So in keeping with the eyes, I, I have been giving my eyes a whole lot of love this like past month in September. So I have been, you guys know I've been mixing foundations for a while. Now you guys know my favorite combination for a mixture foundation right now is NARS Luminous and also the Maybelline Velvet. But I've also been mixing meth. <laughs> But I've also been mixing concealers, and my concealer duo that I've been mixing has to be the Maybelline Super State Better Skin Concealer, and also the Too Faced Born This Way Radiant Concealer. These two together are awesome. First of all, because the Born This Way, the Too Faced Concealer is really, really light. It gives you like a nice, smooth airbrush finish, but it also really, I would say, brightens up the area. And then the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin, this one is light as well, but the color was a little bit too light for me in my opinion, and I didn't like how it was underneath my eyes. Like this one creased underneath my eyes for me. But what I do is I take the Too Faced uh, Born This Way Concealer, and I use it as, you know, I would a regular concealer, and then I would take the Maybelline Better Skin, and just dot that on the outside, just to give me a little more lift and um, highlight underneath that area, if that makes sense. But I really, really like this one. It's just that the color for me, is actually my skin color. So I was like, this is not gonna work. And then the color down from it was too light. So it just it just wasn't working for me in terms of actually concealing the area and giving me the highlight that I wanted. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna mix these two and see how it works. And it works beautifully wearing it today. And I love them together. They're amazing. The Too Faced Born This Way Concealer does not crease on me. So that's always a good thing. And like I said, the better skin one is just really lightweight and it actually, the color um, really helps to highlight my under eye area. So sticking with eyes, yes, this is definitely the last eye product that I wanna talk about. It is by Eiler and it is their number 126, their definition lashes. You guys, Beauty by Benji here on YouTube, she's a fellow YouTuber influencer here and she raves about these lashes and I was like, I have to find them and I was having so much trouble finding them and then one day I stumbled upon them in Target and I was like, bomb, I gotta get them. And then when I actually put them on, I was like, these are so beautiful. I'm wearing them today, they're really full fluttery lashes but they do like they say give you that definition in the eye area that you need they're really lightweight um they're not thick or anything like that when i first looked at them i was like this band is way too thick and i thought it was going to be like you know a finger over my eye all day but that's definitely not the case i don't feel them at all there are times where i actually forgot that i'm wearing them they're so lightweight and comfortable but again they are the Eyelore number 126 I'm wearing them today I just want you guys to see what the packaging looks like as always with everything I talk about here on my Alex adores monthly I'm gonna have linked down in the description box so you guys can have an easier way of accessing them and finding them as for lips I have been obsessed definitely obsessed with the new makeup forever artist rouge um, lipsticks they have different finishes but these two I have been adoring the first one is number c506 this one is more like a berry tone shade you can see it there it's really really pretty it is a cream finish it's that i would say quintessential fall color you know that purpley deep plum berry color i love this one it's really really pretty really comfortable stays on the lips you guys definitely stays on the lips their formula for this is amazing and the next color is this red that i'm wearing today this is the color m41 this is a matte finish and this one is one of the limited edition colors that they coordinated with icona pop with to create and it is a beautiful matte tone red i love this color i guess i'm wearing it today very comfortable on the lips it's not a drying type of matte at all it moves with the lips it doesn't like get into my fine lines or anything like that it just looks really pretty and really nice and matte but not that cakey chalky matte type of look also for my lips i've been obsessing i i don't think i mentioned this in my august um alex adores but if i did you're gonna hear about it again it's the l'oreal la palette nude obsessed with this thing 
I had never thought that I would actually hit pan in a lip palette. I have hit pan in these two colors right here because I mix them together and the darker color. I need L'Oreal to make this into lipsticks. Like I need to see lipsticks out of these, especially these two colors. I will mix them together forever, but I have hit pan in this. Um, it is a bit pricey in my opinion. I think this is about $17, $16 at the drugstore. Yeah, it's a bit pricey, but to me it's so worth it because in my videos lately, you guys have seen me with this nude lip and it's really creamy and like just flush and full and that's exactly what I've been wearing. It's this palette right here. Again, this is the L'Oreal Le Palette Nude and if you are looking for a nude lippy and you just can't seem to find it, get this palette and just make your own. That's exactly what I've been doing. So yeah, this is a really great palette. I think it's a nice investment as well, but I need L'Oreal to either make these singly or work on that price point. So moving on to skincare. You guys have noticed that my skin has been really glowy and like it's been doing a whole lot better and I just want to share a couple of products that I have been using on it for the past month that have been really helpful to just keeping my acne at bay. You guys know I am a combination acne prone skin and these products have, have just basically been my lifesavers for the past month. So the first one I want to talk about is from a black owned business and it is called the natural life essentials and this is her liquid african black soap yeah i know i was like they can do that because you guys know months and months ago i started using the i think it's dudu asan or odu asan i'll put it down in the description box um black soap the physical black soap and i was having such a hard time with it because i it was melting a lot on me. It was getting icky and sticky and I had to find ways to keep it dry. So as I was doing my research, trying to find, you know, something better, I stumbled upon this company and I was like, I'm blown away. This is my second bottle running through this and it just really cleans the skin. It does exactly what regular black soap does, it's just in liquid form. So it's easier to use. It's not getting all gunky and slimy and just, you know, you gotta find some place for it to dry. None of that. It's in the bottle, it's insecure. It's in the bottle, it's secure and it doesn't get everywhere. It does it doesn't dry out my skin. It really cleans my skin. Like I can feel my skin being like squeaky clean with this if I had like a Clarisonic. I think if I had a Clarisana with this, my skin would be A1 clean all the time. But obviously your hands only can do so much for your skin. But even with my hands using this, it's been just an amazing product and really helping my skin to get um, all the, the gunk and whatever is in my skin out to help me not have as many acne breakouts as well. So if you're looking for a alternative to the solid um, African black soap then do check out the natural life essentials their liquid black soap. It's gonna blow your mind You're gonna love it. It's amazing another product on my skin that I have been using to really help me get rid of My acne situation has to be this line right here They're called derma e and they sent me some stuff a while back and out of everything that they sent me These are the two things that I really really liked and I thought were working for me The first one is the derma e purifying two-in-one charcoal mask. This thing is life this thing is so intense, <laughs> but what I like about it is that if you forgot to exfoliate, there are actually like, I don't, I don't know if it's the activated charcoal that's in here, but they have like little fine exfoliants in it. You can feel it when you're trying to take the mask off and it really scrubs away any dead skin and any type of, I would say things that are clogging your pores. So it works like a two in one for me. Like if I forget to use a scrub, I would put this mask on. I can feel it taking out any excess oil or anything, excess dirt, all of that out of my skin. It dries down like an intense um, clay mask, but it does the job of an exfoliant. So it gives me a twofer and my skin feels baby soft once I use this. And then along the lines of that, if I don't get to use that or if I don't do a mask, um, within that two day span, like I try to do my masks every two days out of the week or twice a week. I would go in with the, the Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. This is gentle enough to use daily. It's not abrasive or anything like that. What I love about this is I use it especially in the mornings. So it lifts away any dead skins that have accumulated um, overnight and it helps to really clear out any dry patches that I might have 
on my skin so that's one of the things that i really really like about this it also gives me like i notice when i rinse my skin off and i look in the mirror like it gives me like a healthy radiant type of glow to my skin so yeah it's it doesn't smell bad or anything like that um i don't know why i'm on smells here but it just smells it smells kind of medicine-y with this one but it does also contain activated charcoal inside of it i think both of them do yeah activated charcoal is in here and marine algae is also in here um this also has some aloe leaf juice that helps with um reviving the skin and helping it to stay fresh so derma e these two products are awesome for my moisturizer during the daytime i have really been liking this one from clinique it's their pep start hydra blur moisturizer and this is so awesome what i like about this moisturizer the most is that one it does the job of moisturizing and two it feels really good on the skin like once i put it on like it has this like cooling effect on my skin it's so it feels so good you guys you have no idea how that feels in the morning it feels so so good especially how it's still a little bit warm here down south like it's it just feels really good on the skin it actually it actually does blur imperfections like it blurs my pores like none other i don't have huge pores but i notice them and i know once i put this on before i even put on my um primer to hide my pores this hides them already so if you don't like primers i think this is a good moisturizer to get because it's hydrating and it blurs any type of imperfections on the skin it's really lightweight on the skin i don't feel like um, greasy or heavy or anything like that once it absorbs into the skin it just makes your skin feel really velvety to the touch so this is awesome again it's the clinique pep start hydra blur moisturizer when taking my makeup off i love the neutrogena makeup remover wipes and i know for a while when using them if i got them anywhere near my eye even though in the packaging says don't get it near your eye i used to do that and you know i you know i used to do that and so i was really excited when they came out with these these are the neutrogena extra gentle eye makeup remover pads you guys they feel like clouds on your eyelids it's so 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 nice i store them the same way that i store my makeup removers upside down like this just to make sure that all of the liquid doesn't you know accumulate at the bottom and then the top's really dry you know what i mean so these are i'm not going to use one but i'm going to take it out to show you what it looks like these are ultra soft they look like this they look like little round um cotton discs they're really soft the formula is really really nice it's like a plush soft fabric it doesn't like break apart or anything like that it doesn't like split in half or you know it's it's really really durable and what i like about this is that it doesn't irritate my eye area so i can just hold it there for like a good 10 seconds and then i just wipe away gently and all the eye makeup is off like it even gets rid of my um eyelash glue and i don't know about you guys but there were times where i would wake up maybe two or three days later after wearing an eyelash and i'd still have glue you know, I'd be picking off like three day old eyelash glue and this really, really helps to get everything off of the eye area. It's really good for getting those um, liners that we put in our waterline that don't budge. This does a good job of getting rid of them without irritating the eyes. So if you're looking for a new eye makeup remover that's gentle on the eyes, I would say go ahead and try these Neutrogena um, Extra Gentle Makeup Remover Wipes, Makeup Remover Pads. And last but not least, I want to talk about what I have been deep conditioning my hair with. Again, if I have talked about this before, I'm sorry. I'm going to mention it again because I've been using it and it's awesome. It's really, really helped me. If you follow me on my vlog channel, then you knew that I had a bout with hair loss. Um, hormones were going crazy. Hair was falling out all over the place. And I think this is what really saved me. It's the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It's really long strengthen grow and restore treatment mask with shea butter peppermint and keratin this thing is it was a it was a lifesaver for me because it's the only thing that had changed in my regimen which i'm definitely going to be switching up for the winter time but i just noticed a real change in my hair i noticed my thickness started to come back especially around my edges started to come back I noticed in my crown area is getting a little bit thicker like I noticed my length coming back I'm retaining way more length than I was when my hair was falling out like this stuff is amazing and it smells like it, it smells it smells good it doesn't smell horrible it looks like if you can see it there I only have a little bit left I do need to re-up but 
I my hair loves this stuff. It I use it as a deep conditioner to help you know deeply moisturize and really get in there and help my hair to basically catch itself. You know what I mean? But I do use Jamaican black castor oil. I went back to using it um as a massage oil. I always used to use it when I first started my natural hair journey and I just quit. I don't know why, but you know, I, I just basically went back to basics and this was the only thing that really changed. So I would attribute my hair restoration to deep conditioning with this once a week. My curls are on point now. They're really springy and they're, they have more life in them. I do need to get a haircut pretty soon because I notice my ends are getting a little, you know, fluffy and frizzy. But other than that, I think this is an amazing product. It's really helped my hair to bounce back and it doesn't contain any bad stuff, no sulfates, no parabens or things like that. But that Jamaican black castor oil and all the other ingredients in here, they really did what they say they were going to do and basically restore my hair back to its former glory. Thank you guys, so that is it for my Alex Adores for the month of September. Do let me know down in the comment section what you think. Have you used any of these products or anything like that? But if you made it to the end of this video, I have a special giveaway for you guys. I have not done a giveaway in a while, so I'm like, I want to do one, and I just want to share how amazing these products are with you guys. So what I will be giving away is one of the purifying two-in-one charcoal masks from Germa E, so you guys can try it, and then I'll also be giving away this set. These two right here, the L'Oreal Voluminous Neor Liner and also the Mascara. I am giving away the blackest black color and this one is regular, it's not waterproof. So yeah, I'm giving away these. So if you want to be entered into this giveaway, you definitely have to be a subscriber, obviously. And just tell me, um, what are your favorite things about fall? Basically, that's all you need to do. Go ahead and also thumbs up this video. That's it. That's all you need to do. I'm going to put the instructions down in the description box if you guys, you know, didn't catch it in terms of how I'm saying it. But I'm going to let this um, giveaway run for, I would say, a week. And then I will come back on this very same video and announce the winner in the description box. And I will also contact the winner via message here on YouTube. So I'm going to run it for a week. Um, you guys, I love you guys so much. You've always been such a great support to me and I thank you so much for watching my videos. I'm grateful for you guys every single day for coming back every week just to see my big old face right here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribing if you have. Bye.